everyone welcome back to a tray crochet so in today's video I'm going to be making another cap and let me just say thank you to those of you who suffered through last week's video I apologize for the dark color I really thought that the lighter background would help but it did not so as a thank you for suffering through that video I'm gonna make another video which will be similar but a little bit different it'll be different in terms of how the brim is made okay Things you will need include some scissors, a darning weaving tapestry needle, a stitch marker, okay? And then I'm using a size seven millimeter US crochet hook. I'll also be using four colors in today's video. You can use only one color or you can mix it up. I will say that the more colors you use, the more possibility there is for tangles to happen that you don't want but I really want these colors so um, I'm going to be using all four. The good thing about this cap, this hat, this crochet hat is that the main color will be this gray which is visible so you guys will actually be able to see the stitches better in today's video. And then um, we will incorporate the black, the purple, and the white. Okay, We'll use those colors primarily once we get to the actual brim part and by the way in terms of the yarn these are just standard medium four yarns okay so see the medium four I'm just using brunette super value and I have one of each one okay you won't even need a whole skein to complete this cap but obviously I have four because I have <laughs> because I have four different colors so I also forgot to mention that you're gonna need some elastic B cord this I don't know if you can see because there's kind of a glare but this is two millimeter elastic B cord. We used this in last week's video and I just forgot to uh, include it. Okay, so definitely have some of this. This will help the cap that we're making stay on your head and it will help prevent it from getting stretched out over time. So this is clutch. All right, let's get started. All right, so as I think I mentioned, the gray will be my main color. Okay, so we're going to create a slip knot. So wrap it around your finger like that twist exchange pull it over and then we're gonna pull this loop over that one and off your finger and while we do that you guys we're gonna pull up on the loop that's still on our finger we're gonna insert our crochet hook all right and pull to tighten now we're gonna chain four one two three four I think in last week's video I ended up um, slip stitching here and then having that little bitty ring and then crocheting stitches double crochets in that ring we're gonna do a little bit different this time okay so we're not gonna create a slip stitch we're gonna basically treat that first chain as the ring so right now we've chained four and we're gonna go back to that first chain right there and we're gonna put a double crochet in there so yarn over go into the first chain and I like to get two loops Yarn over, pull through to the front. Now I have three loops on my crochet hook. Yarn over, go through two, one, two. Yarn over, go through the remaining two, one, two, okay? And so essentially what we've done is we have a chain three there, which counts as a double crochet, and then we have the double crochet that we just made, so that's two stitches. So for all the other double crochets that we're gonna make for this round, round one, we're just gonna put them in that first chain. So yarn over, re-enter that same first chain, yarn over, pull to the front, three loops, yarn over, go through two, one, two, yarn over, go through two, one, two, yarn over, go back in there. So we're just going to keep hitting up <laughs> that first chain and putting double crochets. Okay, so continue putting double crochets into that first chain, and now you can see how it's behaving as a little ring as if though we had slip stitched okay until you get a total of 15 stitches so remember this chain three counts as one so one two three four that means I have 11 more double crochets to put in there I will meet you once I get them made 14 and back in there one more time for 15 all right so we have 15 stitches counting that chain three at the beginning okay so that's a neat way to use that first chain 
as like a little ring, okay? Instead of having a slip stitch, all right? All right, so now we're going to slip stitch into the one, two, three, the top chain, the third chain up of that chain three. So yarn over and just pull all the way through. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, okay? So we've moved on to round two. So round one has 15 stitches, round two, because we're going to put two stitches in every stitch we'll have 30 stitches once you get back around okay so this chain three there has that chain three which counts as one stitch but remember every stitch in this round has to get two so we're going to yarn over and put a double crochet right in that same place where we slip stitched and we'll make that double crochet okay so now you see that this chain two has two stitches one two okay moving on to the next stitch which is right next to it don't miss that okay yarn over and then we slice the icing off the top of the cake like that yarn over pull through to the front three loops yarn over go through two yarn over go through two yarn over go back in there because every stitch is going to get two stitches now yarn over go through two yarn over go through two okay so two stitches two stitches in there so continue putting two stitches in every stitch below and I will meet you once we get back around. Remember you should have a total of 30 stitches. See you there. Alright, I'm back around. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the one, two, three, third chain up, also known as the top chain of the chain three. So yarn over and just pull all the way through. Moving on to round three, I'm going to chain three again. One, two, three. And I'm going to put a double crochet once again in to that same place where I slip stitch right there. So yarn over, enter there at the base of the chain three, yarn over and make your double crochet. Okay. Now I'm going to in this next stitch, so this is the chain three, this is the next stitch, I'm going to put a double crochet. So yarn over, slice the icing off the top of that next stitch, yarn over and make your double crochet. And now we have our pattern. So it's two and one, okay? Now we repeat the pattern. The next stitch, which is there, will get two. So one and then back in there, two. And then the next stitch, which is right there, will get one. Remember your pattern is two one two one continue in that fashion putting two in the next stitch and one in the one thereafter and I'll meet you back here and you should end on the one by the way see you there all right and the second to last stitch is where I have two and as I told you that last stitch should get only one okay so you end on the one all right so this round round three should have a total of 45 stitches and we're going to slip stitch to the one, two, three, third chain up, or the top chain of that chain three. So just insert your hook, yarn over, and pull all the way through for the slip stitch. Okay. Now, if you're making this cap for a kid, this might be big enough, depending on the size of the head of the child. Okay. If this is large enough, and basically you want to just fit it on the top of the head of the child or the person that you're making this for then you can stop and wait till I start my non-increase rows okay or rounds I'm sorry as you can tell I've increased every round I created the 15 stitches there that so that's by default an increase round round one then I increased every other stitch for the or every stitch for that one round two which is how I got to 30, so that's an increased round. And for round three, I increased every other stitch, and that took me to 45. So I need to keep going because I'm making this cap for an adult. So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. And then I'm going to put a double crochet back into that same place at the base of this chain three where I uh, slip stitched, okay? so that the chain three down there has two stitches in it. And now I'm gonna put one double crochet in the next two stitches. So one goes in there and then one goes in there. So yarn over, slice the icing on top of the next stitch, okay? 
be sure you're not missing that one okay here's your chain three for round three and go to that very next stitch it's really close so you may be prone to skipping it don't miss it okay and then one double crochet in the next stitch and that's our pattern two one one okay so pattern repeats now so in the next stitch which is there we put two double crochets it's one back in there for two and then next one gets one and then the next one gets one okay so two one one two one one continue in that fashion and I will meet you once we get back around there see you there all right in our last three stitches one two and three we're gonna end with the pattern so I just did two one one so the next stitch the pattern repeats getting two in that stitch back in there for the two and then I have two more stitches and they will each get one so you end on that second one last stitch gets the one okay slip stitch into the top chain of that chain three the third chain up all right chain three one two three all right you guys so we have crocheted one two three four rounds okay and this is big enough this the diameter of this is big enough for the uh, head of the person that I'm making it for if the person has a bigger head then you can do another round and you would just for this one put the double crochet at the base of the chain three and then um, the pattern would be two one 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 okay and you would just keep repeating that two one 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 two one 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 but this is sufficient for me okay so I'm gonna stop here this is the last increase round and you should have a total of 60 stitches at this point now what we're gonna do is we're gonna crochet seven more rounds of non increase okay so we're gonna crochet seven non increase rounds and this will be the first one so what that means is every stitch around will get only one stitch so this chain three has this one stitch right there which is that chain three so that that for that okay remember I told you not to miss that very next stitch which is there okay so we're gonna put a double crochet into that stitch now slicing the icing off the top of the cake and then make a double crochet okay and then in the next stitch we're gonna put one stitch okay so every stitch around is going to just get one double crochet one stitch we're not increasing we're not decreasing we're just keeping the same number of stitches that means that once you get back around you should have a total of 60 stitches why because you did not increase and you did not decrease you've maintained the 60 stitches that are currently in round four so round five six seven eight nine ten and eleven should all have 60 stitches because I told you you're doing five I'm sorry you're doing seven more rounds of non increase now the stitch marker that I told you I wanted you to have I'm just gonna put at the base of this um, right there of that chain that bottom chain just so I can keep track of my non increase rounds. so this is the first round of non increase and the stitch marker tells me that okay so once you get all the way back around you're going to slip stitch into that third chain up and then just repeat this round again I'll meet you there just to make sure you got it alright we got one more stitch left which is there we're gonna put a double crochet in it and you see we're back around to the stitch marker and we're going to slip stitch into the one two three that third chain up just get in there yarn over and pull all the way through without losing it like I just did <laughs> alright now pull all the way through like that okay and then we're gonna chain three one two three and repeat that so the next stitch is there that's where we put our double crochet okay so every stitch around will get one stitch and it's gonna start to curve on you like a bowl okay that's what happens when you start your maintenance rows your non-increase rows okay and yeah 
I just completed one of the seven rows, non-increase rows, so I have six more to go. I will meet you once I get all seven non-increase rows completed. See you there. All right, so I'm finishing up my seventh non-increase round. So one, two, three, I'll slip stitch in the top chain of that chain three, pull all the way through, yarn over, chain one. I'm gonna cut my yarn and fasten off like that, okay? Now, I'm going to take that bead cord, you guys, and just unravel some, and I'm gonna just go around the opening with it, okay? It doesn't have to be exact, just kind of like a rough estimate of the bead cord going around the opening. And if you want, it may help to kind of just stick it through one of your stitches, like the top like that. Yeah, see that? Okay, so it stays in place while you go around. All right, and now you want it to crisscross because you're gonna want it to tie a couple of knots just to make sure it's enough. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it right there. All right, so now I have this much cord and now I'm gonna crochet this around my hat okay but I want to use a different color so I'm gonna get the gray out of the way I guess it's more charcoal I do love the charcoal color though charcoal is better looking than gray in my opinion all right and I'm gonna to go to the purple now by the way this is if you want to use the exact same colors I'm using light damson damson yeah and it's by Bernat Okay, so now I am going to take my cord like that and I'm going to go into the top chain right where I slip stitched, okay, and put the cord over the crochet hook like that. And then I'm going to grab my purple yarn, I'm going to hook it on like this keep the bead cord down you can use your finger to kind of hold it down and then I'm going to pull the purple through to the front try not to split your yarn like I just did okay now I'm going to crochet over the bead cord and I'm going to chain one now make sure that you don't that you pull this down the tail and that you don't lose it okay all right so I'm tightening it. Almost lost it again. See, you want to hold that down with your finger. And then chain one. Okay? Like that. And then you can, the tail here, just pull it. Okay? And now the B cord is under there, as you see. Okay? So now we're going to make some single crochets for this round. And we're going to crochet over the bead cord. And we're gonna crochet over the tail while we're doing that, okay? So, get everything in order. I'm gonna leave this tail because that's gonna mark my back, the back of the cap hat, okay? So, I chained one in the top of the chain three there, right? So in the next stitch, slice the icing off the top of the cake, okay? And then I'm going to lay the bead cord on top. I'm also going to lay the tail of the purple on top. Okay. And I'm going to yarn over, which it's yarned over, pull through to the front, two loops, and then yarn over, go through two. Okay. So now I'm crocheting over this tail as well as the bead cord. All right. Next stitch is there. Slice the icing, put the bead cord and the tail on top, yarn over, pull through to the front, two loops. And go through two okay and we're just going to continue doing that all the way around one single crochet in every stitch around okay and i will meet you once we get back around here all right see you there all right we got one more stitch to crochet into and we're still crocheting over this bead cord so slice the icing off the top of the cake put the bead cord down on top of the Icing, yarn over, pull through to the front, two loops, yarn over, go through, two. All right, now we're going to slip stitch into this chain one there, okay? 
So just get in there where you can. And in fact, it might be easier for you to just go into that first actual single crochet, okay? And you can put the bead cord to the back so that it's back there with the other end. Okay, so just go into that single crochet there and slip stitch like that, okay? Yarn over and chain one, cut your work or cut your yarn, and then we'll pull that through fastening off. Now you want to make sure that your hat is not bunched up anywhere, okay? And now that we've checked for that, we're going to tie a couple of knots with this bead cord. So the first one, we're going to pull down, but we're not going to pull it super tight because we don't want the hat to bunch up anywhere, okay? So it's just like that. And now we're going to tie a second one, and that's the one that's going to be tight, like that, okay? Alright, and then just kind of go around make sure it's not bunched up in anywhere, which it's not, okay? Alrighty, so now, seven rows back. Remember I had seven non-increase rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can take this out now. We're going to use it. But what we're going to first do is split this in half, like this. And we're going to use this tail, the purple one, and we're just going to make sure it's in the center. And we're going to insert our crochet hook into the matching stitch on this side, okay? So this is the back of the cap. This is going to be the front. This is where we're going to create the the bill, okay? The brim, okay? So if we pull this over, it's in that stitch, all right? So now we're going to count over nine stitches. One, two, and counting that stitch that the crochet hook is going through. So one, two, three, four. And let me use my darning weaving tapestry needle because my fingers are so big. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? So that's where we're going to put our crochet hook. That's where we're gonna start. So that's when I'm putting the crochet hook there. And then we're gonna count back over 17 stitches. So one, once again, counting the stitch that the crochet hook is in. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And there, that's where I'm going to put my stitch marker, the one that I took out that was down there. Okay. All right, and now I can take this out. This works, but this is better because it's actually hooked into the stitch and won't come out. All right, so at this point, we're going to double up our yarn, and this is where things can kind of get a little crazy and messy, especially since we're going to be using different colors, you guys. Um, let me first say that the pattern is going to be one, one, two. So in this first stitch, that's where the chain one is going to go, and that's going to count as one. In the next stitch, we're going to put one single crochet, and then the next stitch we're going to put two single crochets, and then we're going to repeat one single crochet, next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch, two single crochets, okay? And we're going to repeat that all the way over here. But we're also going to be switching colors <laughs> every four or five stitches, so we're going to have to keep track of not only the one one two pattern, but also when we need to switch the colors okay and because we're working with two strands for each yarn yeah as I said it can get really crazy so just pace yourself take your time I'm gonna be doing it right with you and we will get through it together okay so I'm gonna start out with the black yarn I know I know you guys hate black I love black uh, it's not good for tutorials but yeah we need to use it for this pattern so let me grab the black yarn now. So I have my two strands of the black, but let me first show you, if you didn't watch last week's video, how I'm getting two strands with one skein. So I'm working with the tail that's coming from the outside of the skein of yarn, but I'm also working with the tail that's coming from the inside as well. And so I'm just using both simultaneously, okay? And that way you don't need to buy two skeins just to have thicker stitches, okay? But getting back to the black, I have my two black strands together, okay, like that. And so basically they're going to act as one strand, 
Okay, I'm going to loop it on my finger like that. Now this is the starting point. Remember, this is where I'm going to chain one. So I'm going to hook them on, holding the strands with that finger like that to the back. Pull through to the front. Now I'm going to use this finger with the band-aid on it to hold the tails back there so I don't lose them. Okay? And I'm going to chain one really quickly. Okay? To secure it. And I'm going to pull on those tails. Alright, so as I told you, this is counting as the one. Okay? Remember the pattern is one next stitch one, next stitch two. I'm also going to crochet over these tails while I'm doing this. So in the next stitch, I told you that's going to get a one, but I'm going to grab those two tails and crochet over them as I make this single crochet. So just go into the stitch, lay the two tails on top, yarn over, bring it to the front. We have two loops, four strands, one, two, three, four, but two loops, one, two, okay? and we're going to yarn over and go through both loops. Alright, so the chain one was the one, the single crochet that we just made was the t was the one, and then in this third stitch we're going to put our two, so we're going to put two single crochets in there. So we're going to slice the icing, crocheting over those two tails, and then yarn over and make a single crochet, one, and then back in there you guys four, two. Okay, right now even though we have done a chain one in one stitch, a single crochet in one stitch, and two single crochets in that third stitch, we've still only crocheted into three stitches. That one, that one, and that one. Before we change colors, we want to crochet into four stitches. So that means we need to crochet into this next stitch, which is there, and we need to start the pattern over. So remember, it's one, one, two. That means this one, repeating the pattern, will get one. So we'll go in there for one, like that. Okay? And now it's time to change colors because we've crocheted into four stitches, four of the purple stitches. That one, that one, that one, and that one. One, two, three, and four. All right, so next we're going to go to purple. So we're going to grab our two strands. Okay, all right, so we have our two strands of the purple. We are going to hook them on our finger, kind of like we did with the black, and then just pull through like that. And now we're going to use this finger again with the band aid on it to hold. Okay, and then pull on the black so that that loop disappears or gets really small, like that. We don't want to see that there was ever a loop there. Okay, we're not going to cut our yarn because we're going to use it when we come back this way. Okay, so do that and then pull on those tails to kind of get your loops of the purple smaller and just kind of go back and forth pulling, making sure it's really tight. Okay, all right, and now. We're going to continue with the pattern. So we did one, we did one, and now it's time to do another one, right? So we're going to go into the next stitch, which is that one. And you don't want to crochet over the black tails, you want to leave them there. So we'll put them out of the way, okay? But we can crochet over these purple tails that we just created when we attached the purple, okay? so. The next stitch is there and it gets one. And we're crocheting over these purple tails. So one, okay? And you can pull on that black just to make sure that that loop is hidden, okay? And then the next stitch will get two. One, and then back in there for two. Okay, so remember, let's move this out of the way for a minute. The first four stitches were black one one two and then we started one and then we did one in the new color and then two in the purple but at this point we've only crocheted the purple into two stitches one and two we have two more to go so we need to start the pattern again so the next stitch will get one and then that's the third stitch and now the fourth stitch will get one okay so 
Let's look at everything again. One, one, two, okay? One black, one purple, two, okay? And then one, one. But at this point, we've crocheted into four stitches. One, two, three, four. So it's time to change colors again. So before we do that two in the next stitch, we need to switch to the next color. I told you, this gets kind of crazy and messy, but if you take your time, you will love the results. So the next color is white, okay? So, all right, so we will now bring in the white. So loop it on both strands, slipping it through. Now pull on the purple to make those loops small, small as possible. And you can pull on the white to get them smaller as well. And you, it's kind of like a back and forth until you get everything the way you want it. Okay. All right, pull on the white. All right, use this bandaged finger to hold the tails. All right. And now we're working with the white, right? So we'll get the purple out of the way, put it over there with the black, and then we can crochet over the white tails and we still have some more of that purple, those purple tails to crochet over as well. So we'll lay those all four strands on top. All right, so where were we with this pattern? One, one, two, one, one, two, one, one. Oh yes, that's right, the next stitch gets two. And see how we can start to see that purple loop? Just tug on it and it'll disappear, okay. So this gets two, so we'll crochet over the four tails and go back in there for that two. Okay, so right now we've only crocheted in one stitch and we have three more to go. Remember, each color we have to crochet into four stitches, okay. So that's one. Now the pattern starts over, one, the next stitch. Next stitch gets one, okay, and then, so that's three stitches, one, two, three, and then, then the fourth stitch, fourth and final in the white, that one's gonna get two. So one, and then back in there for two, okay? All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five more stitches to go. So. Each of these got, each color we crocheted into four stitches. Um, and for this last color, which will be gray, we're gonna actually crochet into five stitches, okay? But we're still maintaining the one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. So now we start the pattern over again for this next one, 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 two, and then we'll end with one, one, okay? All right, so let's get the gray yarn. We'll put the white out of the way for now. <laughs> All right, so we have our gray or charcoal yarn. Line them up, wrap them around the finger like that, like we've been doing with every color change. Hook it on the hook, pull through. Pull on the white to make that loop disappear or get really small, like that, okay? Now we're gonna use our bandaged finger, finger with the band-aid to hold the gray and we're switching to this gray now, the charcoal. I know I keep going back and forth, but you guys know I mean charcoal. <laughs> and we'll put the white out of the way and we're gonna crochet over these gray tails, okay? So we ended on a two, so the pattern repeats. This is the next stitch. Make sure you guys don't crochet over the B cord. Make sure you crochet in the stitch still, but above the B cord, okay? And so we start the pattern again. One, and see how you can see the little white loop there? You don't want that, so just pull on the part that's still attached to this gain, right? See how it disappeared, okay, one. Next stitch, one. Next stitch, we'll get two. One, back in there for two. And then remember the last two stitches, we'll just get one. So one, and then that's the last one, so one. And then the last stitch where the stitch marker is, we'll also get one, like that. 
Okay, and this is what you have. We can take the stitch marker out now because we've crocheted in that last stitch. All right, and we're gonna just do this one time. We're gonna go into the next stitch and just put a slip knot like that just to kind of expand the brim to give it a little rounded um, feel like that, okay? So this is the first row of the brim. And you see, we're working with all these different colors and you're gonna have to be careful when it's time to chain one and turn, turn your work so that you don't get your yarn all tangled up, okay? This is the most challenging part of this part especially because we're using so many different colors and we're using two strands from each skein. But we got this, you guys. So we'll chain one, okay? Turn our work like this, okay? And now we're going to work into the back loop of each of these stitches like that, okay? So that's where we made our slip stitch. We're gonna go into the next stitch, which is that one and we're gonna put a single crochet. Now, in terms of when to change colors, we're gonna put the same color stitches in each color below. So for all these charcoal colors, we're gonna crochet with the charcoal yarn. When we get to the white, that's when we're gonna to switch to the white yarn. And here we're gonna to switch to the purple yarn and then the black, okay? So that part is easy. For this row, row two, we're just gonna put one single crochet into the back loop of every stitch below. So we don't have a pattern like one, one, two for this one, okay? So we'll go in there and then yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, go through two. Okay, next one, back loop, single crochet. Next one, back loop, see? Single crochet. Next one, back loop, Keep it nice and tight. This is what's gonna help to make your brim stiff. Back loop. Next one. Back loop. Next one. Back loop. All right. So we've crocheted in the back loops. The next stitch is white. So it's time to drop the charcoal. And this is where you may need to kind of Rearrange your yarn a little bit to make sure it doesn't get tangled. So I'm going to do that this around like that so it's out of the way. And now I'm just going to grab the white, hook it on, pull it through, and then I'm going to pull on the charcoal so that loop disappears. Okay? All right, and in the first white stitch, I'm going to continue putting one single crochet in the back loop. Okay? Like that. If you see that loop getting big, just pull, okay? Pull on it and it'll close up and tighten like that. Okay? So for all these white stitches, I'm going to crochet one single crochet in the back loop in white, matching stitches below. Okay? Back loop, single crochet, back loop, single crochet. Make sure you don't, make sure you use both strands. All right, and then one more back loop, single crochet, nice and tight, okay? The next stitch is purple. So let me get the white out of the way. Just wanna make sure it's not tangled anywhere. So just kinda work it through, okay? So put the white up there, and now with the purple, but I need to take it around the black <laughs> so it doesn't get tangled. All right, I think I'm good to go. The white is out of the way. You can just leave it hanging in the front like that. All right, so now here's the white. We're gonna yarn over with the purple, pull through, and we want that white loop to disappear, so we pull on the white yarn, like that. So the loop disappears, keep it nice and tight. All right, now, 
Still working in the back loops. We're going to put one single crochet in the back loop of each purple stitch using purple color yarn. Okay, keep it nice and tight, you guys. And make sure you're grabbing both loops. You should have two strands when you go in that back loop. It's one loop, but remember it's two strands. All right, back loop of this last purple stitch. May be hard to get in there because you've kept it tight, but that's what we want. Like that. All right, pull through. All right. This is what we have so far. And now it's time to turn to black. So I'm going to put the purple all the way and I'm going to go to the black. Okay. Hook it on, yarn over, pull through. And now I'm going to pull on this purple to make that loop disappear. And now I'm going to crochet with the black into these final stitches. So back loop. One. Two. Next stitch. Three. And last one. Four. And then just for symmetry's sake, we're going to go into this unused stitch there and just make a slip stitch like that. Okay, and this is what we have. Now it's time to turn our work and start to go back in the other direction. Okay. Okay, so we have our yarn pretty much where we want it. And I don't see anything tangled right now. So we can put this to the back like that. Chain one. And now we're just going to, once again, crochet the same color into the stitches below and we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch and we're crocheting into the entire top no longer back loops okay we only did back back loops for row two so row three which is what we're on now we're going to put one single crochet into the entire stitch so we chained one we're going to go into the next stitch which is there the entire stitch and put one single crochet and we're going to match the colors so every black stitch gets crocheted with black yarn like that okay so that's really easy now it's time to switch to the purple so let's move these out of the way okay so as before hook it on pull through now see that black loop right there we're going to grab the black yarn that's coming from the skein and pull so that, that loop disappears. Now we're going to proceed with just putting one single crochet in all the purple stitches. And if that loop opens up, just pull on the black yarn and it'll close. Okay. So this is a really easy row, row three. Yes, we're still switching colors, but we know where to color, we know where to crochet which colors because. <laughs> They're matching, and it's just one single crochet into the whole stitch. All right, now we're at the white, so we're going to yarn over, pull through, and now for the purple, to make that loop disappear, we're going to grab it and pull like that. See how it makes it small? Okay, and then we're going to crochet single crochets into the white. Like that. And just make sure your yarn is not getting tangled anywhere. See how that purple loop opened up a little bit? So just pull on it like that. You want it nice and snug and tight so that you don't see it. All right. So we're crocheting with the white yarn into the white stitches like this. Now it's time to switch to the gray. So we'll yarn over with the gray pull through. Now grab the white, pull down on it so that, that loop disappears. Okay. And then we'll tighten. And when you tighten with the yarn you're working with, that previous loop might open up a little bit, so just pull it again. Okay. And now we're going to put gray single crochets into the gray yarn or gray stitches below or charcoal, you guys. Charcoal, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, like this. All 
All right, and this is what we have for row three. All right, so now moving on to row four, we're going to chain one, turn our work. Okay, and so every time you turn your work, you wanna make sure, you wanna check your skeins to make sure nothing is tangled, okay? Because you see you're gonna have to work with the gray first, then the white, then the purple, then the black. So I'm gonna check my skeins of yarn to make sure that they are in the order that I need them to be. Okay, so like I need to bring this white under the purple, and now it's where it should be. The black is now where it should be. And the purple is where it should be. So now I'm good to go. So just take your time with this, guys. I know it has the potential to get like really crazy and chaotic, but if you take your time, you will be fine. <laughs> All right, so row four is an increase row. Okay, so we chained one. We already turned. Okay, and so in the next stitch, we're going to put... Actually, in the next four stitches, we're going to put one single crochet okay so this is the next one and we're still remember working in the entire stitch the entire top so next four stitches we'll get one single crochet so that's one next stitch two next stitch three next stitch four okay and then in the next stitch it's going to get two so one, and then back in there for two. I did all those with gray because I was working in gray stitches. Now it's time to switch to the white and the pattern will repeat. So I'll leave the charcoal or gray to the back, grab my white yarn, okay, yarn over, pull through, pull on the gray to make that loop, those loops disappear. All right, and now remember I told you it's time to start the pattern again. So four single crochets, one in the next four stitches, and then two. Okay, so this is the next one. So one for that one. Next one, one. That's two. Next one, one. That's three. Next one, one. That's four. And then this one, it gets two one and back in there for two all right time for the pattern to repeat but we're still we still have a white stitch to crochet into so we're going to continue working with the white so it'll be one okay now it's time to switch to the purple and let's get the white out of the way put that to the back like that or to the front i guess now yarn over with the purple both strands, pull through, pull on the white to make that loop disappear. Okay, and now we already started the pattern over, right, with the one there. Okay, so this next stitch will get that second one. Remember, it's four ones and then the two. So next stitch gets the second one. The next stitch gets the third one. The next stitch gets the fourth one and then the next stitch gets the two. So not only do you have to keep track of the colors, but you gotta keep track of the pattern. And the pattern and the color change, they don't always happen at the same time. <laughs> All right, so we did the two, but we're still working with purple. We have one more purple stitch to work with, so we'll put one in that. So that starts the pattern over, okay? So now we have three more ones to do, and then a two, but we gotta change color first so we will put the purple <laughs> out of the way now yarn over with the black pull through pull on the purple to make that loop disappear and we did one one already so let's do the second one okay now because I don't want to end with the two down there I'm going to put the two up here Okay, so for this last section, instead of it being four ones and then the two, I'm going to do one one. So I did two ones, and then the next stitch I'm going to do a two right away. So one, and then back in there for the two. And now I'm going to do one in the next stitch, and then the last one there. 
for the last stitch like that okay so the pattern was one 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 sorry one 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 two so that's four ones two one 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 one, one two one 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 two one one two and then one one okay all right chain one <laughs> turn your work remember every time you turn you use that as an opportunity opportunity to make sure your yarn is not tangled anywhere and that they're in the order that you need them to be in okay so that's good put that there that's going to be there my gray i need to move to the other side because it's the last one i'm going to be working with all right and yeah i'm all set now so i'll pull this down here out of the way so if you take your time you guys you will be fine all right i believe we're on row five now and yes we already chained one and turned our work and so now we're back to an a non-increase row okay and we're just going to put one single crochet into every stitch so here's that chain one we'll go into the stitch and then just put a single crochet once again matching the color yarn how do you know what color to use well look at the stitch that you're crocheting into and match it so crocheting with black yarn into the black stitches okay now our next stitch is purple so we need to switch to purple so yarn over pull through pull on the black and then start to crochet with the purple one okay like that keep it nice and tight that's what makes for a good solid brim last purple stitch right there okay now the next stitch is white so we'll yarn over with the white yarn pull through pull on the purple both strands to make that loop disappear and now we'll crochet one single crochet into the white stitches using the white yarn nice and tight last white stitch okay the next stitch is charcoal so we need to switch to the charcoal yarn over pull through and then pull on the white yarn to make that loop smaller like that and then start to crochet with the charcoal yarn into the charcoal colored stitches and see how you can start to see the loop there if we pull on the white it'll disappear okay all right so just continue putting one single crochet into every stitch last one there we go okay so this is what we have isn't this so nice you guys I love this all right we're gonna chain one turn our work like this and remember to use this as an opportunity to make sure your yarn is arranged in such a way that it does not get tangled okay the gray comes first then the white Okay, so the white will be there, the purple is already there, the black is already there, so I'm good to go. All right, I think this is row six, so this will be an increase row, and basically the pattern is one, one, two, okay? So the next stitch, so that stitch right there, we'll get one. The next stitch will get one. And then the next stitch will get two. So one and then back in there for two. Next one gets one. Next one gets one. And then the final charcoal stitch will get two. One and back in there for two. All right. This is an example where we repeat the pattern 
right when we start the color change. The next stitch is white, so we'll yarn over, pull through, pull on the charcoal to make that loop small and disappear. And now we will start the pattern over. So this first stitch, first white stitch gets one. New color with the repeat repeated pattern. One, next stitch, one. Next stitch, we'll get two. So that's one, back in there for two. Repeat, one, next stitch, one, final white stitch gets two, one, back in there for two. Once again, it's time to change colors and we're changing colors on the repeat of the pattern. So yarn over with the purple, pull on the white, all right, repeat pattern, one, on the white. Okay, next stitch gets one, and then next stitch gets two. One, and then two. Need to give myself some slack from both of these. I'm going to do this on camera so you can see that I'm going through it too, right with you. <laughs> this is real. Okay, just being patient, and that's what I want from you guys. Okay, next stitch, one, pattern repeat, next stitch, one, and then the final purple stitch, that will get two. One, back in there for two. All right, time to switch to the black, yarn over, pull through, pull on the purple, make that loop disappear. All right, next stitch, we'll get one, beginning of the pattern, next stitch, we'll get one, and then next stitch we'll get two. One, back in there for two, okay? And then the next stitch we'll get one, and then the final stitch we'll get one, okay? So we don't have a two. All right, now we're going to chain one, turn our work, all right? Remember to always use this as an opportunity to make sure your yarn it's not going to get tangled, so rearrange your yarn so that it's in the order that you come to it. So first, I got the black, which is fine, because I was just working with it. Then, I'm working with the purple, then the white. Now I need to relocate. I need to move my charcoal so that it's on the other side now. Alright, so now I'm ready. Alright, so we're done with increase rounds, or rows. I'm sorry, we're done with increase rows. So. This one is just going to get one single crochet in every stitch below, okay? So slice the icing, put a single crochet in there. And we match the colors again. So black stitches get crocheted with black yarn. One single crochet. One, and then last black one, one. The next one is purple right there so we're gonna yarn over with the purple pull through and then pull on the black nice and tight and then just get to work with the purple Now we're at the white, so yarn over, pull through, pull on the purple, and then get working with the white yarn, making sure you go into the entire top of the stitch, okay? And make sure it's tight. See, I see the little purple loop there, so I'm going to pull on it because I don't want that to show, okay? And I just continue on. One single crochet in every stitch. I need to give myself some slack with the white now. I'm doing this on camera so you can see that I'm struggling too. Not really struggling, but I'm just taking my time, okay? So don't get frustrated, guys. And then I'll just continue on now that I got the slack that I needed to do so. 
two more white stitches to crochet into. This is the last one. Okay. Charcoal is next. Yarn over, pull through. Pull on the white yarn. Okay, and now get busy with the charcoal. One, single crochet in every stitch, matching the colors. Okay, pull on that, keep it nice and tight. Like that. Last stitch right there. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Isn't it it's a beaut? I love it. Yes, I surely do. Okay, so now we're about to start the final round and I did mean round because we're gonna go all around this hat this cap okay and we're gonna do it with this yarn the charcoal the one that we're currently working with okay so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put reverse single crochets all around this and it's gonna be awesome so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to go rotate my crochet hook to go back into the stitch like this pull through to the front and yarn over go through two okay that's how you make a reverse single crochet once again here's the next stitch rotate go into the stitch that's back the top of it still the top yarn over pull through to the front yarn over go through everything next one is there and over go through everything I actually really love the reverse single crochet because it gives you something to grab onto and I just think it makes for an awesome border okay so I'm just going into each stitch each single crochet and I'm going to only be working with the charcoal yarn okay now you might be wondering what about these that are still connected well we're going to cut those and crochet over them and so let's do that now so I'm gonna cut that one and cut it over the whole length of the white or just partially through it so now the white yarn is done okay and I'm gonna crochet over that when I make my single crochets I'm gonna do the same thing with the purple cut that down okay now I can take the purple yarn away and even this black just kind of measure it across some stitches like that and then cut it down and now the only skein that's attached now the only skein that's attached to this hat is the charcoal which is what we want okay so let's continue making these reverse single crochets okay so, so in it and then go through next one go through all right we're getting to the white now so we want to make sure that it's laying on top so we can crochet over it okay so on the so I'm pulling on that, pulling on that to keep it tight make sure that loop disappears and I'm going into the first white stitch like that well not exactly like that let's get in there like that make sure to put the white tails on top so we can crochet over them yarn over pull through to the front and complete the reverse single crochet okay we're just gonna keep doing that so keep the tails on top yarn over pull through to the front go through okay next one like that and see how we're crocheting over the tails okay so just keep doing that next one Okay, next one. All right, next one. I think we're pretty much, we've pretty much crocheted over the entire white tail section. So just keep doing your, making your reverse crochet, reverse single crochet. See how that looks so awesome. All right, and now that we're approaching the purple, we know it's time to crochet over the purple tails. So I'm pull them tight. And then I'm gonna start to crochet over them, reverse single crochet. So put the tails on top, and then yarn over, pull through to the front, and reverse single crochet over it. Okay. 
It's really easy, you guys. See, put them on top, yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, go through two. Okay. Once again, here's the next one. Go into the stitch behind, make sure the tails are on top, yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, go through everything. Next one. Sorry about the phone. All right. And just keep working like that until you get all of the tail crocheted over. And even if it doesn't cover it perfectly, you can always cut cut it down later. But look how neat that is. Ah, oh, I love it. All right. So we'll just keep working like this. Make sure you're not grabbing anything you shouldn't be grabbing. And now we're approaching the, let me do that one again. Now we're approaching the, uh, let's see, the black. This is the last purple stitch. If I can get it through here, crochet is so tight. It's kind of hard to get through. And I don't think I've, yeah, passed all that. Let me do this one over. All right. Let's see. All right. I'll do those two over. You guys know I'm a perfectionist. All right, that's better. All right, so now that I'm at the black section, I'm gonna pull on the black yarn because I'm gonna crochet over it. I'm gonna keep that tight. And I'm, go, I'm gonna go into the first black stitch, making sure those tails are lying on top like that. Yarn over, pull through to the front like that. Okay. If you guys didn't want to crochet over these tails like the, like the way I'm doing, you could also use your darning weave and tapestry needle to weave them in into the appropriate colors, but I just thought this would be easier. Okay, So you have options, but you'll just continue making reverse single crochets over the tails and into the stitches. Kind of missed that one. All right, I'm almost at the edge, but I need more slack. <laughs> of course, of course I need more slack. All right, let's see, how many do I have? One more, and then I'll be in the corner. There we go. Okay, so once you get to this corner, you guys, then you're gonna go down, okay? So you can put two in the corner if you want, just to help it kind of curve. Now we're gonna work down the side and that's how we're gonna get down to here and around, okay? So now we just start to put single, reverse single crochets into the sides of this brim. Like that. Just find the edge and wherever you can get in, get in. It doesn't have to be perfectly exactly where I'm entering okay just get in there that's the important thing all right and now I'm gonna put one in this corner and now you guys I'm gonna put reversing the crochets into all the purple stitches going around this cap okay so this part will be easy because you know exactly where you're going just into the top of each stitch once again make sure you don't grab the bead cord that's hiding under those purple stitches okay so make sure you insert your crochet hook above the bead cord all right so continue in this fashion putting one reverse single crochet into each single crochet and I'm going to meet you once we get back around here to the other edge of this brim okay I will see you there. All right, so I just want to show you, I'm not quite back around yet, but I got to this tail, the purple tail, and then these bead cord tails here from where I tied the two knots. You can crochet over this as well, okay? So um, you can cut this down or you can just lay it on top, the bead cord and the tail. And then when you're making these uh, reverse single crochets, you can crochet over them as well, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna enter the next stitch and then 
make sure that the beat cord and the tail are on top and then make my reverse single crochet like that okay you guys know that I'm all about not having to weave in tails later so if I can do it beforehand I usually uh, <laughs> I usually opt for that okay All right, and then let's see, this is the next one, yes. All right, so let's see. All right, so I crocheted over the bead cord and I can always cut that down a little bit later if I want, but now I have, I'm gonna leave the gray tail, the charcoal tail in there because that was my initial tag, but I'm gonna crochet over this bead cord as I'm continuing my to work my way around to this edge, okay? So yeah, I just want to pop back on and show you that you can crochet over those tails as well while you're adding this reverse single crochet border and then it'll save you the amount of cleaning up that you have to do later on okay all right now for real I will see you <laughs> once we get over to this edge see you there all right so we're almost done now this is the next stitch right in that corner so make my reverse single crochet and now it's time to go up this edge of the broom. This is where I started and I went all the way around. So now I just need to do this little bitty section. So once again, just get in where you can. It's gonna be a little bit tough because you've been crocheting your broom really tight. So just do your best. We just wanna make a nice border, okay? It doesn't need to be perfect and it's gonna look amazing anyway because of the the look of the reverse single crochet okay all right a few more stitches so just go in there on the edge wherever you can get in to get these reverse single crochets made and then put one right there all right if I can get this through here there we go and then I'm gonna put another one in there just so it kind of rounds the corner out like that. All right, now you guys, I'm gonna chain one, cut my yarn, <laughs> fasten off like that. And now I'm going to grab my darning weaving tapestry needle. I'm gonna put these two strands through it. If I can get them in here. <laughs> Okay, I got one. You might need to do one strand at a time if if you don't have much luck getting them both done simultaneously. The first try. Uh, spilling this. It's almost there. Come on. Okay, there we go. All right, and now I'm going to work on the inside of the hat because this is the outside. So I'm going to go on the inside, and then I'm going to go down and just to kind of really bring it in, like to the underside of the hat, like that. And now I'm gonna work through these gray, or sorry, charcoal stitches. You would think as much as I love this color, I would get it right and stop saying gray, but it is kind of gray, right? But it's charcoal, which is so much better. Okay, so I go in one direction, these tight stitches, which is great because that means it won't come out. Make sure you get both strands though. Okay, and I'll take a slightly different path going in the other direction. Just kind of weave in the sharing in so we don't lose this and it kind of creates some knots where you can get in. Like that, that'll work for me. Pull through. And see how tight it is because our stitches are so tight. That's a good thing, you guys. Okay, and now we will use our scissors to cut this down. And now you can't even tell <laughs> where where you went in and went back out. And then we can clean this up, cutting these the excess tails from earlier. Here's some more right there. Okay. And yeah, you guys, this is our awesome cap. Isn't this amazing? I love this. Let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, yeah this is what we have okay 
So this is gonna be very awesome. I love the, these colors, the purple and the charcoal and the black and the white. And uh, yeah, you got a little visor here with this brown. And it's just awesome. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial and today's video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. But you know, I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, happy crocheting.